Ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Reckonist. Welcome to my second vlog of the day. Um, where I'm going to talk about some personal things that uh, have happened to me in the last couple of months and ones that will happen in the next couple of months. Just to give you, you know, an all-round idea of why I've been behaving this way and also exactly what's going to happen in the future as well. So it's no news to anyone who's on the Discord. I've been feeling particularly down lately. I have a, a history of mental health issues since I was like early 20s and uh, it usually flares up over the winter and this winter was particularly bad in uh, West Michigan and as a result of that I you know, got went to my usual steps of you know doubt, self-loathing, worthless feelings, things like that. Um, as a result of that, I wasn't really able to get myself up to stream, and um, I'm sure you can understand that. Um, if you're not feeling it, you absolutely should take time and care to address it, which is something I have done, um, which is much easier these days thanks to my fantastic wife who is a mental health professional, and luckily it wasn't uh, anywhere near as bad as it has been in recent years, but it definitely was not something, um, you know, enhance uh, what I do on stream. So um, thank you to everyone who was patient with me from that. Um, I have quite a lot of experience of dealing with my own mental health and talking to people who have mental health issues as well as a volunteer at a charity in the UK before um, I had to leave uh, when I moved to America. Um, I know many techniques that uh, might help some people out. So if you ever are struggling with your mental health or if you just want to talk to someone, I'm, I'm always available for that. I haven't told many people this, um, especially in like the Discord and the streaming communities particularly, because I've seen it affect people's relationships immediately once it's shared out and obviously i value my relationship with you greatly in fact pro probably too much um so i haven't talked about it i've actively kind of avoided jumping into any sort of mental health uh conversations that have happened on the twitch streams and things like that uh that's not something i'm going to do anymore i'm actually going to wade in with both feet uh if you ever suffer from mental health issues especially you know if you're unable to talk to somebody you don't know about resources or anything like that please let me know i'm happy to take time and talk about it don't ever think oh it probably doesn't mean me i do mean you um i'm very available to listen to those things and offer what advice i can and uh, hopefully help you through that but i've had mental health issues the last few months thank you for sticking by me during this time now the second part of this video <laughs> i've got a little note here um, I am not 21 years old anymore. I'm nowhere near as fit. I was borderline professional athlete, semi-pro footballer at one point. So I knew um, my health had declined over the last you know, 10, 15 years. I didn't realize quite how badly until I went to an, a doctor in America, which is weird. Um, I previously not spent much time at doctors in the UK because you know it's like trying to get an appointment and then you feel like you're interrupting people's days and you know you're not you're not that sick things like that uh, also fed into the mental health issues of being you know not worthy of you know interrupting a doctor with your problems things like that but by the by um I went to, once I moved to America and we have really good health insurance and we went to like a doctor for a checkup. Um, oh, there goes my Facebook, ignore that. Um, what happened was I was pretty much immediately after, off the plane, pretty much, I was diagnosed with diabetes. Uh, apparently I might have had this for some time. And again, I've not shared this with you guys, but see, it come as no surprise, who'd have thought a man who's been really overweight for 15 years would develop diabetes. Yeah. Shocker. Um, and we made steps to address that, but it's at a point where my health is going to affect my lifespan quite badly unless I make some serious changes. And ordinarily, maybe I wouldn't make those changes. But now I'm married, it's not just my life this will affect. This will affect the wife of the woman I love. So... Um, something pretty drastic would have to be done to change things. I've, all the traditional ways didn't work, of course. I tried those, uh, the dieting, um, exercising, and things like that. But it, apparently I don't have the body type for that. My body is in like survival mode at all times, so it hangs on to every calorie it can. 
specifically to make sure I don't starve to death. It's an evolutionary thing. Some people have this some gene system, some people don't. Uh, apparently, I do have this, which is uh, going to be um, a big problem for my health now. Um, so we had to start looking at more dramatic things to do. And the more obvious suggestion was uh, bariatric surgery, which is um, what will be happening to me within the next 12 weeks, I believe. The last six months, uh, I've been seeing the doctors and talking about things we can do, um, talking about surgery, um, doing little plans to do increase my weight loss chances, and none of them have worked. So in the next two weeks, I think I'm going to get signed up officially uh, as authorization to actually have bariatric surgery. Um, I haven't got dates yet, but I'm in my, like the final stages. I should hear like uh, next month or so, I should have a surgery date. What that means is basically they're going to remove a huge part of my stomach. And um, that effectively removes my diabetes as well, apparently, because the part of the stomach they take out actually takes away um, appetite and things like that and also affects insulin levels. So if ultimately this surgery will, A, cure me of diabetes and B, put me on the way uh, of weight loss so great um i'm terrified but great so that's going to happen in the next month or so um a lot of effort has gone in to get this far uh, to try to avoid the actual surgery it's about eight years of um looking in uh, myself and you know just reading online things to do um but my surgery is going to happen probably early to mid-May, possibly, maybe even sooner, possibly later. And in that time, I'll be pretty much out of commission for streams for at least a week. And um, yeah, so that's what's happening to me right now. Um, I think that pretty much covers what's happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's why I've been a little bit iffy the last few months uh, mentally and physically. There's going to be a huge change. Um, over the next six months and um, you'll see a different wreck probably in the next six months um, probably getting back to a decent healthy weight living longer streaming longer as well no tiredness and things like that very excited very worried but it's, it's a change that has to be made and well if you have any specific questions about anything i've talked about by all means let me know either in the youtube comments or you can contact me privately on the discord or wherever you want to get in touch but these are things that i have been dealing with and things that i will be dealing with in the next few months um yeah one take how's that one take covered all that professional as you like uh yeah any questions let me know but um yeah this is an update and um i'll keep you informed if anything does change i might see a few more vlogs i don't know i don't know but uh yeah thanks for watching guys um let me know if you have questions but uh take care